Minute Maths, and it's in the uh, playlist on dealing with surds. And this is an exam grade question, around about A grade, something like that. It's to give you a practical example of one of the type of uh, questions that you're going to get at high school maths dealing with surds. Okay, so we're just going to crack on with that. Um, the question is describe 6 root 2 in the form A root B, where A and B are what they call positive integers. So positive integers. Okay, so that's the actual question. I'll write that in the uh, comments section below. Now the description section below, you can have a look at that for yourself. Um, what we mean by that, firstly positive, positive numbers. Okay, integers, numbers. Okay, so we can just cross that out. We can say we want it as positive numbers. Okay, alrighty. So, the thing about dealing with a fraction, particularly a fraction with a third, is there's a particular thing called rationalizing the denominator. And what that means is, is that we're going to make this into a whole number. Well, the way that we do that is we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the same. Now, if we do that, we can use one of the integer rules. So we've got 6 divided by root 2. Well, if I multiply root 2 and root 2 together, I get the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. I'll show you what I mean. So if I multiply that by root 2, I get root 2 times root 2, which is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. Perfect. So that's going to work for me. However, because I've multiplied the bottom by root 2, got to multiply the top as well by root 2. So let's just work that out. So we've got 6 times root 2 is 6 root 2. And at the bottom, I've got root 2 times root 2, which is root of 4, which is 2 on its own. OK, we're a lot closer now to achieving that particular answer because what we can do then is divide the top and bottom by 2. Well, if I divide the top by uh, 2, I get that to become 3. Divide that by 2, I get that to be 1. OK, so in answer to the question, I've got 3 root 2 divided by 1, which is exactly the same as saying 3 root 2. Two. OK, and that's the answer to my question. Uh, I hope that's been OK for you. Please do add a comment below and I'll always respond to it. Uh, this is three minute maths. I'm coming up to about 12 seconds to go. Please do subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Two seconds. Yeah. <laughs>